This is the Vegan Anarchist, and in this video, it's called Anarchism is the New Counterculture. Vegan is a response to this, this contrarian, quote unquote, named Paul Joseph Watson, who said things like, oh, conservatism is the new punk rock. Or, any, or, or conservatism is a new counterculture, as he says, with his arrogant face, to, voice, with a face that you just want to punch, like Richard Spencer style. But anyways, so I'm going to give some reasons why anarchism, not conservatism, is the true counterculture. And not just a counterculture, we're a punk. We're not the new punk, we are punk. And that we, as anarchists, are the, not just a counterculture, but a culture of resistance. Let's do this. You know, Paul Joseph Watson, it's funny that he postures this, but here's a few problems, because conservatives make, make up most of the three branches of the United States government. They may, or at least half the Supreme Court and most of the other two are in fact dominate. They dominate the Texas state legislators and the governorship. So they're in charge. Americans support conservative ideas like banning the Muslims! Most Americans do. In fact, there isn't much counterculturally because like a few hundred years ago, conservatism would have been pro-monarchy. So I can't imagine. Oh, I, I'm, I'm in like, I'm in like 1700s. And I, I'm a conservative because that those Republicans because at the time, you know, Republicans are against monarchy because, because, because it would be like a, it would be like a bunch of fearless of Paul King, King apologists. Right after the French Revolution, say, "Oh, now we're the new counterculture." No, you're the old culture that needs to be destroyed. We're not the new culture. You're as basically as new countercultural as as conservatives are in the days of monarchies. Fuck it. Yeah. But leftists, I mean leftists, control academia and the media of Hollywood. Well, actually they don't. Most academics are liberals, especially in like sociology in most fields, except for like economics because the Koch brothers and the bunch of billionaires basically made them into like a bunch of chills for like capitalism. So yeah, but you know. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm serious, like, most academics are liberals, they're reformists, they're not actual leftists. I mean, Paul Joseph Watson conflates, and a bunch of other conservatives, conflate liberalism with conservatism, when liberalism isn't, I mean, liberalism with, not conservatism, liberalism with leftism, when they're not the same thing. Leftism is to the left of liberalism. Basically from social democracy to what I'm at, at the basically as far, far left as you could possibly be in economics. And pretty much that has social skills, so yeah. Liberals, and even then like social democrats are like the conservatives of the left. Liberals talk like the left, they use leftist rhetoric, but then they push things like neoliberalism. And the funny thing is neoliberalism has been controlling this country and most parts of the world for the past 30 years. Which is ironic because you also said that's when music and art start deteriorating. Which is the same time neoliberals got in. Oh my god! Of course he's wrong about that, but anyways. Neoliberalism control it with privatizing this. Give more money to the military, more privatization. It's all about the individual. No class struggle. We're the end of history.
century, the Soviet Union collapsed, we're done. No, that's the culture. What Paul Joseph Watson represents is the more reactionary part of that culture. But he is part of the establishment, especially considering that he and Alex Jones and Locke and Servants like to suck the cock of people like the Koch brothers. They get, I mean, the Koch brothers must be getting good at it. Head metaphorically, wait, the way their ideas are being promoted. I mean, and leftism isn't very popular, except by a few circles. There's not really much. I mean, most academics are these social democrats or melt toast liberals. And then there's a few right wing whack jobs in the pseudo science department of economics. But, eh, and what's called left in the media? Well, internationally, it's still right wing. Like when you look at an international scale, America is a right wing nation. We have been for th over 30 years. And he's right wing. So he's not, I mean, don't believe me? Well, American liberals come off. I mean, they're really not that leftist. Internationally speaking, so mm, not so much in that claim. Oh, let's bring, yeah, yeah. And I can't wait for Paul Joseph Watson's album, new song, or his song, Love the Police, or Praise the Police, or The Police are Awesome, because that's totally countercultural to say how much you love the cops. No, 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 no. We don't have anybody in the government. Almost, if there is maybe one or two, maybe that, maybe if, but it always no one. We're the ones whose idea is challenging the status quo. The status quo loves conservatism because low taxes, low regulations, you can pay your workers shit. Oh, I wonder why you would like it. And I can't figure why because you're thinking melt their pe their employees more. Duh. And they believe, and the two me right is believing this ridiculous conspiracy called cultural Marxism, which is hilarious. Lala, because, well, actually, Frankfurt School was trying to save the West culture, not destroy it, but, and they're, they're martial, like, they have almost no influence in mainstream academia for the longest time, so, yeah, you're marginalized. Now, let's contrast with anarchism. We have been fighting for our, since the 1800s. Our roots been goes back probably to the beginning of humanity. But we, but everywhere we go, anarchism is so poison to the establishment. And literally, they have to twist the meaning of the word anarchy to mean chaos because they have to straw manners. And for the longest time. Anarchists have been discriminating against work, and well, probably because they don't want the means of production seized. Hmm. Of course, they would sell like a bunch of anarcho punk clothes, or say, or at least anarcho punk. But they just, they could, but that's because they make money. They and people actually believe that stuff. They would do whatever it takes to put that shit down. You would be there screaming right with the conservative. Capitalist establishment, and your guy just got elected, just hilarious. Yeah, like real ones, our cultural our values in this society are: you better do what you're told, make as much money. You be, and it seeks to make everything into dollars and cents. Everything's a commodity. In the, in the environment where everything is a commodity or a trying to make a commodity, the truly countercultural will be communism, where everything is not a commodity. That instead of goods being made and distributed for profit, it's made to, and distributed to satisfy people's needs. In reality, racism never went away. They, in fact, a lot of liberals use political correctness to mask the racism, which is part of the reason why they're big on it. And, well, actually, 
the term political correctness was actually a fucking leftist term. I mean, it was used by the left to mock like a whole overly orthodox fact is like Maoist, so it's kind of hilarious. We got the memes, like, I mean, god damn it, you have the, like, Richard Spencer getting punched in the face, Max Turner memes, we're the one who actually are resisting, actually resisting the status quo, and have been since our entire existence, and, and been hated for that. I mean, your boss would, would like love conservatives, bosses love conservatives, because they, they're boot lickers. Anarchists, not so much, because they probably want to get rid of them when they start organizing. Just saying. And yeah, and by the way, we have so good memes. And one thing about the meme. Make me a meme! Because like, God damn it, I want to see more memes about me. So pick it up, people. Make memes about me, because I want to be a meme. Like Max Turner. But seriously, though, it's hilarious that the ideology that represents a part of the ruling class is countercultural. <laughs> you just gotta laugh at Paul Joseph and watch his face. I mean, yeah, and anarchists, they've been anarcho punks as well. Not quite almost, we can begin even pre close. We're like crass and the dead Kennedys. Oh my god, the dead Kennedys and crass are awesome! I mean, seriously, we got our music, we have punk rock, metal, and hip hop. We got all sorts of shit. Join the anarchist movement because we're the like new counterculture. We are the resistance. Alice Jones pretends to be resistant, but he acts like he could be COINTELPRO. He gets money from giant corporations, billionaires. He is a shill. And he gets these, and he sells stuff. Now, of course, he needs to survive, but he, a lot of this stuff can be traced back to billionaires and corporations. Make your fun about George Soros, you would say. Not so fast. Where's my George Soros check? Seriously, George Soros, where's my check? And if I was a check for George Soros, where's my goddamn George Soros check? Where is it? So yeah, this is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masters. In a society where you're forced to conform to workplace standards, wear a uniform, get a job, be a tool. The most liberation is to revolt against that, and that's what anarchism is. Remember, we're the counterculture, not conservatives. We're the punks. We're not just a new punk. We are punk, the true punk. And remember, viva la revolution. Join us, because we're awesome. Not, well, because we're the counterculture. See ya.